I think the gaming supports are a little stronger on the lane, but there is still some execution to be had. He's just going to walk in triangle. Now what's he doing here? Well, he's invincible, it looks like, so high ground tombstone. Okay, the turnaround. Everybody for the doom. Okay. Tomato. And they lose their character. Okay, well, it was a good attempt. It was a good attempt. Good effort, good effort. I think White Mon should have stayed at the Visa office. Yeah. <laughs> Might be uh, rethinking getting uh, that. They're going to call. All. All right, that is the fastest game well, of the tournament. That's the fastest game I've seen. Oh, my God. All right, calm yourself, Quinn. Calm down. I mean, why? You just killed a team. Have some goddamn respect. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Show some respect at the funeral. Yeah. I have not seen a beatdown like that affair. in a long ass time. Why do you even need to drink water? That was over in 12 minutes, Tofu. <laughs> That's less than your daily workout. Oh! I know where we're at. Oh, Holy we're based! At. Oh! Oh, well, well, well. Quinn Callahan, to what do we Hello. owe the pleasure? <laughs> What's this? I don't know. This is a surprise interview number two, Electric Boogaloo, I guess. You're breaking kayfabe, Quinn. You you came in here with a steel chair. We didn't see it coming at all. Quinn, <laughs> welcome to uh, your monologue, I suppose. I imagine that you were likely going to go to some other stream and give some other stream content about your thoughts on this series, but I wanted to hear on ESL underscore Dota 2. Quinn, you were explicitly called out my moon meander, and I don't know the origin of this beef. Was it just you supposedly being a, an NA traitor, or does it go deeper than that? Well, I mean, when you're the inferior team, you kind of want, you're sort of in this mindset, you know, where you're wishing the other team makes it easy for you. And you're wishing, hey, maybe they go a little easy because the match doesn't matter for them. Because, you know, we'd like this free win because earning it is kind of hard. That's that's a little, <laughs> I don't know, that's kind of print trying earning your wins. <clears throat> <laughs> gross, you know. So we we want the wins handed to us. And what if we didn't hand those wins? He was like, "Oh, where's my where's my fucking handout?" You know, I was I was expecting this. And so he, you know, goes in this mindset, sort of a wishful thinking. I will I will will this into existence. I'm manifesting that if I say we will dumpster Quinn, we will dumpster Quinn. When in reality, manifesting isn't real, and they got their cheeks clapped back to North America. So if you ask me, you may have been the more American in that situation. Moon Meander's asking for handouts. This is very socialist of him, if you ask me. Meanwhile, you are forcing the best of the best to rise. And it gave him motivation, but clearly not enough, it seems. Yeah, I mean, uh, motivation doesn't, uh, you know, need a little more than that. That quite, doesn't quite cut it whenever, uh, you know, you're getting trashed in three lanes. So, <laughs> you know, what can you, what can you do? Back to the drawing board. You know, there's always next time. Did you have any fear having your hero picked first and Brile getting his pick of the litter to counter you? Uh, no, nah, not really. We pick my hero pretty early uh, most times. And I just had a feeling before the series, like I knew when I was pacing back there behind me, like mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, we're going to win. Before we played, I, I had a feeling. I knew. So. In the footsteps. It was, uh, it was all right. Brian, any questions for Quinn? Yeah, uh, so there's definitely a different carry meta in terms of like how roll queue works in EU. It's like in EU, people roll to select who gets to play carry if they're similar ranks and NA it's like whoever's higher rank gets it. And I'm just wondering, is have you noticed there's like any bit of a different dynamic in the mid lane for how that goes in EU compared to NA? I mean, in NA, I think it's a smaller community, so people tend to be more respectful. And there's like a handful of people you can name who are lane stealers. Where in EU, there's like an infinite number of clones made in a factory whose names are, <laughs> you know, Amini Daiki and their picture is like a bleeding anime person. And they all, they all just insta pick SF. There's just hordes of them, legions. It's like the fiend scene from Lord of the Rings when it pans out and you see the fiend, the orcs. Like, that's that's the, the mid players in Europe. Wait, what do you do when they do that? <laughs> um, you know, it varies. I've tried I've tried different things. Uh, you know, some of them maybe, um, some of them maybe not so, so PMA. So we'll go over those on stream. Hey, man, I do the tree and quelling and I steal their CS if they do that to me when I'm carry. So I'm, I'm owning I'll up to I'll try that it. one next time. I'll let you know how it goes. Oh, yeah, you should try it. They, they don't stand a chance. If you if you buy four gauntlets, the, you have like over 110 damage. So you de I definitely recommend it. Okay. Thank you for a very positive reinforcement, Brian. Sheep, any questions for Quinn? What's up? All right. Um, so obviously Moon himself stepped into the arena in game one. Uh, do you have any comments on his gameplay performance, if you even noticed him at all? Um, I mean, it was there was some. It was like um, I don't know, some money bags scattered around. It was like you're playing some. Uh, 
I don't know, some like the, the farming simulators, you know, where you like just collecting crops. And, oh, there's a little bonus here. Cool. My <laughs> my economy gets boosted by 4%. You know, I felt like that was that was sort of his role in the game. He, you know, he was like the little turnips that, that, that boost my XP. <laughs> All right. And um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> we also had a, a nice discussion earlier about um, coaches and, you know, if they stood in and like teams powering up via their coach, what do you think, how do you think your team would fare if you had uh, CY, you know, come in to on any role? Um, I think CY coming into the mid lane would be, a, would be a beast to handle. He's got some sneaky, some niche mid heroes people would definitely not be ready for. I think, uh, I think he put on, a, put on a show. Yeah? You guys can carry yeah, him yeah. or he's going to carry I got, you. I got faith. He's got some he's got some sneaky strats that he tries to oh. convince me to play, but I have not tried yet because I am cringe. <laughs> <laughs> are they so sneaky you'll never do them? In which case, can you tell us what they are? They're not that sneaky. So there maybe there's some pipeline where I do play them. Who knows? There's a patch coming. You never know, you know? So oh. they'll remain under wraps. All right. Oh, I'm looking All forward right. to it. Will you tell us that it was one of those sneaky strats if it does happen, like afterwards? Yes, I will. Okay. okay great. That's a promise. All right. <laughs> I can All right, agree to thank that. You. Well, uh, Quinn, now that you have, you know, taken out the trash, uh, <laughs> who is next on your list? That's what everyone wants to know. I mean, you know, I'm not I'm not one to pick fights, you know? Mm. Like, he came at me, and I merely responded. So I'm not going to go, you know, naming people. It's it's your turn next. You know, that's that's for the, you know, the people to decide. I merely just go in and play the game. You know, he throws down the gauntlet. Sure, I'll accept your gauntlet, and I'll bonk you on the head with it, you know? But... <laughs> Until I'm handed another gauntlet, I'll just, you know, continue to just roll with it, you know? Oh, he's a peacemaker. Yes. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Ever You're honorable, welcome. Quinn. Thank you so much for uh, joining us for this post-series interview. Appreciate your time and congratulations on this victory. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Have a good night. <laughs> Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Sprung that on us, huh? I did, yes. Yeah, a little, a little nice. Easter egg for everyone who's like, oh, the game's over. Celery? I don't want to hear from Celery. That's your loss. Celery is a very, very wise vegan captain, and he has been helming Quinn's success, shaping him into the European core that he was truly meant to be, raising him by his bootstraps. Success Very story. American. Very American. Yeah, that's what we want to hear. <laughs> I'm so glad we have Quinn and Dota, dude. Just for how funny his interviews are. Everyone is so tame. You, like, ask the same questions. You get the same answers back. How was your series? Oh, it felt good to win, you know? And then you get a Quinn interview, and it's just like, you just don't know where it's going to go. He was the turnip. <laughs> <for my opponent's laughs> experience. That was so funny. His metaphor is like, uh, I don't know where he comes up with this shit. Yeah. It's just like, there's some bank back there that he just, like, delves back into every time we ask those. him a question.